Hey guys, this is Make It Work with Yash. And have you ever came to your kitchen sink to get ready to get uh, a glass of water or run some water and you notice that your knob, knobs like this, is really loose. And even sometimes that knob being loose can cause leaks. Uh, well, I'm about to show you guys how do you fix this problem. You know, that way you don't have to call a plumber and spend a fortune just to get it fixed. So guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the easy way just to fix this and it will save money for you. All right guys, stay tuned. Alright guys, we're back and the tools we're going to need to fix this job is I want you guys to go out and get something like this. This is an Allen wrench and the size you would need to fix this problem most of the time is a 1 8th. So this is this one right here. If you get it, you can pick this up at a Dollar Tree or a Family Dollar Store or Walmart. And what it is, is just pretty much these, uh, I'll put in one in their different sizes. And like I said, today we're going to need the one eighth, uh, size and you're going to need a flashlight. So guys, I'm going to show you what to do to fix this. Now, what you want to do to start off is go on and move your faucet over some, that way you can have some room to work with. And then you're going to see a little area in the middle that shows red and blue. The red and blue is showing hot and cold, so you're gonna pull that out. You can either use a screwdriver or your fingernail. Now guys, I wanna make sure to tell you guys before you start this job, for you won't lose this little piece. You want to put something in your drain to catch it if in case it fall. So just put something in your drain just to catch it in case it falls. And like I said, you can use a screwdriver or your fingernails, I'm gonna zoom in for you guys to see, to capture this. So I'm gonna use my fingernails, just going to pull it out. See how I just dropped it, but I don't have to worry because I have something in the sink to capture it. So then I'm gonna get my flashlight out. And the reason why, because you want to uh, get the screw inside even with the hole for you can see exactly where you need to put your little Allen wrench. So I'm gonna take my phone off of the tripod and show you guys. Just give me one second. All right, so zoom this back out and you're gonna get your screw, I mean your flashlight and you're gonna focus it for you can see exactly. You might have to turn it on a little bit just to get it focused to see exactly where it is. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you see that right there? That is where you need to put your little Allen wrench. So you're going to put the Allen wrench up in there and tighten it. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put it in there. We got it in there. And you're just gonna turn it to tighten it up. No over tighten it guys, just tighten it hand tight. And you see that? There's no more looseness. No more looseness. And like I said, that will fix it. That way you can turn it on and off without that looseness. And that right there guys is your easy fix. And then all you do afterwards is now when you put this little dab back in make sure you put it the right way you want to make sure you put it for the red it's on the hot side the blue is on the cold side so if you don't remember how you did it you can either turn the water on and turn it to which way to feel which way the water is and that way you know which way to put this little dab in 
That way, the next person come to the sink will know exactly how to do it. So, I'm going to put this back in and show you guys. So, just hold on. All right, guys, to put it back in, all you do is move your faucet head back over and you can lift a little bit before you have some room to work with. And our red is on our left hand side. So you wanna just easily make sure you put it in. And once you get it the right position, you just push it in. You just get it. You just snap it in. And guys, it's trying to go a little bit sideways. There we go. And that way, you will see it is completely back in and no more looseness. All right, guys. Well, I just want to make sure I make the short video to show some of you guys how to do this before you call a plumber. And they charge you $50 to $60 or more just to tighten up the head of your faucet. All right, guys. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the rest of it. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.